women's health research at Yale funded a pilot uh, project in my laboratory, and it actually was a, a collaboration with Dr. Alessandro Santin, who's in the Department of Obstetrics and, and Gynecology. Alessandro is an expert in ovarian cancer and has long been trying to find new ways to treat ovarian cancer, particularly that subset of ovarian cancer that is resistant to most drugs, and, and this is a common form of ovarian cancer, unfortunately. And in my laboratory, we develop methods for delivering drugs to, uh, to tumors more effectively. And this involves embedding the drug molecules into very tiny particles called nanoparticles. And, and then decorating these nanoparticles so that they recognize tumors and avoid all other uh, cells in the body. And so the Women's uh, Health Research at Yale uh, pilot program allowed us to do the first experiments in combining our two interests to find new treatments for ovarian cancer. There are two things that are exciting about this, this time for someone that's doing the kind of research that I am. One is that we know a lot more about cancer than we did before, and so one has a lot more ways to approach treating cancer. The other exciting thing is that in the field of biomedical engineering, we've developed new tools. And the tools that we've developed are very small particles, particles that are the size of viruses, but are made of safe components that are entirely synthetic. We've learned how to make these tiny particles and to encapsulate chemotherapy drugs in them. And the advantage to that is that we can make particles that will carry these drugs specifically into the cells where the drug is needed and they'll avoid normal tissue. Uh, this allows you to deliver chemotherapy right at the site of action and not have the side effects that one normally associates with chemotherapy. As a result of the early studies that we were able to do uh, with funding from Women's Health Research at Yale, uh, we were able to uh, get some early results and write an application to the National Institutes of Health, uh, which was funded uh, at a larger amount. I think the most in important thing that we've uh, found so far is that we could uh, take uh, nanoparticles, the kind of nanoparticles we learned how to make in the laboratory, and we could tune them so that they can selectively find ovarian cancer cells. Uh, and we've proven this in, uh, in uh, laboratory uh, models. The practical value of what we've been studying is that we, we hope that this will lead to new treatments for ovarian cancer. Uh, in our work so far has been very promising. And one of the things that we've been very careful about as we've proceeded is to select uh, materials that are known to be safe in constructing our nanoparticles uh, so that as we get good results in the laboratory, we can rapidly translate that into new treatments for women.